let's see one other type of relationship between two entities assume that we have this uh, again the same employee entity type and this is the employee entity set and this set contains all the entities related to employees but each element you know it refers to one employee <coughs> and let's say there is one more entity entity set and the entity type is a project and this contains all the entities and each entity here represents a project right and according to the specification of the uh, you know function this uh, in requir requirement analysis let us say you got the information that every employee is is supposed to work at least on one project and he can work on many projects as well as every project is supposed to have many employees and it is supposed to have at least one employee okay so again watch it listen to this every employee is supposed to have is supposed to work on at least one project and an employee can work on many projects similarly a project can have many employees and every project is supposed to have at least one employee right so at least and many at least and many both sides right and now let's define a relationship and you can choose a meaningful name let us say the name is since here i have written employee and there i have written project let me write employee works on project that looks meaningful right employee works on project that's it and now i have to take each uh, relationship and associate it with one entity from here and other entity from here see in some sense you can even think of it like this there is one set and there is other set and you are actually taking a cross product of these two sets and a relationship is nothing but a subset of cross product just like in mathematics in set theory you might have seen it right what is relationship you know what relation what is relation is uh, a set a subset of cross product here also a relationship can be actually visualized the same way how you are taking this set and you are taking this set and you form all the cross products which means all the elements possible by cross producting this one and this one right cartesian product then you are going to get some set from that set you are going to take subset of it that is going to become relationship isn't it now let us say employee employees are like this e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 e7 e8 and the projects are like this p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 something like this p7 p8 right and assume that the working relationships are like this you know project p1 is having employees e1 e2 e3 working on it and project p2 is having employees e2 e4 working on it project p5 is having employee e5 working on it and project p6 is having uh, p p4 is having employees you know e1 e5 e6 so on right let us say this is p3 and p4 okay now how are you going to relate them so there are four projects and these many employees is there any employee left out let us put e7 here and e8 here right so according to the specifications they are saying that every project is supposed to have at least one employee at least one means you can have many a many employees can be working on that project and moreover every employee is supposed to work on at least one project therefore all the employees have to be covered see this even even is at least present here e2 is here e3 is here e4 e5 e6 e7 e8 right so every employee is actually working at least on one project so the requirements are met right now uh, let's see how the uh, this one is modeled so p1 e1 is related to e1 e2 and e3 are related to p1 therefore e1 is related to p1 and again e2 is also related to p1 and again e3 is also related to p1 right so i am forming each relationship using uh, one entity from here and other entity from here right so you might think that why don't i put a line from here to here and then i know these three lines only to one point and then there but actually the relationship is formed by taking one entity from here and other entity from there you are not supposed to form by taking many entities from here from the same set and then one entity from the other set that is why every every entity relationship entity is formed by taking one entity from here and one entity from other side right and next one is 
see these questions are very simple but if you don't understand them clearly there is a chance that you might make some mistake they are very simple to answer especially dbms only thing is the terminology you should understand it and i know the representation so the things are very very simple you'll understand it okay now uh, next one is p2 is actually related to e2 e4 and e8 so e2 is related to p2 right and then e4 is related to p2 and e8 e8 is related to p2 right and next e5 and e7 are related to p3 so e5 is related to p3 and again e7 is also related to p3 e7 let us say is related to p3 and what about e4 e1 e5 and e6 are related to p4 let us say p4 is here right and e1 e5 and e6 so e1 e5 e5 and e6 yeah e6 is from here this is related to p5 right okay now that is how it looks like got it uh, so what is the specialty of this type of uh, relation is so one thing is let's talk about the degree degree is number of entities participating in each relationship how many entities are participating in each relationship two entities therefore degree of this is 2 right and uh, what about the cardinality cardinality is maximum number of relationships in which each entity can participate so what about the cardinality of this side employee side how many relationships can each employee participate in many relationships right so cardinality of this one is n what about the cardinality of this how many relationships is each uh, project participating in many therefore you can write n, n here but instead of writing n and n maybe that might lead to a confusion saying that equal cardinality let's write n and m n and m anything which is not uh, either 0 or 1 or uh, you know like this m means any number right generally n and m are used to indicate uh, anything greater than 1 so by writing n and m you can understand that it is greater than 1 what does it mean you know maximum n and m means they can participate in more than one relationships right and what about the participation so participation means total or partial participation so every every entity here is participating at least in one relationship therefore total participation right and what about the total participation here participation here here also every project is at least participating in one relationship total participation right now how can you represent it in both the representations if you say this is employee and this is works on and this is project the relationship between these two see it is total participation total participation therefore double line and what what type of uh, you know mapping is it cardinality m is to n right you can put m here and n here no problem not an issue either m here or m, m there anything both of them indicate is a many to many relationship right and in case of minimum and maximum representation min max representation it is the employee it is the project and it is works what is min max representation for this what about the minimum here minimum is um, one and what about the maximum n and what about the minimum minimum is one here and maximum is m right you can write anything there okay so that is the rep representation of uh, various things here and you can even sometimes in the exam they might give you a role also in the bracket so don't get confused in brackets they can say you know employee as a, some name as a project worker and that one as the employer something like this role will be given so anyway only these questions are possible on this right fine